Shortcut by David McCauley. Used to be a library book. Shortcut. Hmm. Shortcut by David McCauley. So we got a bunch of characters. We got Albert, and this is June behind him. We got Patty and Pearl. Wonder what Pearl is. We got Professor Tweet and Clorinda, who's got a bird on the wall. It seems very sad. We have Sybil, and we have Bob. What's going to happen? And there's a melon. So, chapter one. Albert and June are up early. It is market day. Look at that, look at that. Once a week, they take their ripest melons into town. As they cross, Albert and June always make a wish. So Albert, there's a little tiny coin. He's dropping a coin off the bridge. To save time, they will take the shortcut. See, shortcut. Albert removes his coat to help June up the hill. The other sign says long way. So there they are going up the hill and Albert has put his coat on the sign. Oh, they're going down the other side. When they reach the top, Albert gets his coat and they are off again. In a little while, they stop to eat at the Railway Cafe. Seems like a cafe for a horse, but I don't know if I'd like to eat that. So what's happening? Hmm, that looks like a switch. And the horse is tight. Hmm. June is very hungry. She stretches to reach some tasty clover. After lunch, they continue toward town, crooning their favorite songs. A rope blocks their path, but not for long. That's how you untie a rope. Their melons are very popular and the wagon is soon empty. Once again, Albert and June get their wish. They are home before dark. Watching TV together, I see. All right. Chapter two. Patty and Pearl are best friends. They go almost everywhere together. Oh, and look at all the places there on the side. And, well, almost everywhere. No pigs allowed in the school. When Patty is busy, Pearl relaxes near the abandoned railway line. One day, Pearl disappears without a trace. Almost. What happened? I don't know. The, the animals are trying to tell her something. Chapter three. With his balloon firmly tied, Professor Tweet spends his days studying bird behavior. Oh, there they are. Suddenly the balloon breaks free. It is heading straight for the cathedral town of Fauville. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Thinking quickly, professor to the professor tosses everything over the side. The balloon starts to rise. And there it is, rising over the town. And the people down below don't know what to think. <gasps> Looks close. 
and just in time, Tweet and his balloon are safe. Chapter 4. Someone has opened the switch, sending the Darlington Cannonball onto the abandoned line. Oh no! It soon picks up an extra passenger and disappears into a tunnel. Squeak! Squash! Splat! Ouch! Hey! After crossing Chestnut Street and the old trestle, the train rolls on toward the end of the line. Uh-oh. I think that they hear something coming. Chapter 5. Sybil is off to the market. There she drives. She races through town and country. Though she slow, uh, though she follows the sign, it is still a long, long way. By the time she arrives, Albert is out of melons and she is out of luck. The sign says, shortcut, and there's a jacket. Shortcut. Hmm. Oh, wait. The jacket was there. Remember, shortcut was the other way. That's the long way. And that's a very long way. And she caused a lot of problems, it looks like. Uh-oh. And she didn't get any melons, either. She just got in trouble. Chapter 6. Patty must find her best friend. She tries all the familiar places. Not in the bed. Not by the garbage cans. Not on the slide. Having no luck, she takes to the road. Patty searches high and low. In the end, there's only one place left to look. The beach. Chapter 7. Bob sleeps all day. He loves the peace and quiet of the river. In his favorite dream, he is the admiral of the fleet. Uh-oh. What are those? <gasps> he looks like he fell in the water. The sandbags hit him. Suddenly, he's thrown from his boat. Fortunately, he sinks to the bottom, which is how he makes his dream come true. Look at all those coins under that bridge. Oh, and now he's admiral of his own fleet. Chapter 8. Professor Tweet has lost his balloon forever. Oh, dear. But by rescuing Clorinda, rescuing Clorinda's crafty cockatoo, he has captured her heart and happily takes up safer work. Yeah, he's probably not going to fall and hurt himself studying snails, is he? Chapter 9. Uh-oh. Even without tracks, the train keeps moving. What's going on? It finally comes to rest 
at the beach. This is not on the schedule. Epilogue. A muffled snort tells Patty where to dig. When Pearl recovers from her ad adventure, the two go almost everywhere together, but never by train. Oh, and there's that red sports car. It's for sale. And there's some melons. The end. And that's the end of the book. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now go to sleep. Sweet dreams. Good night.